206. All right, guys. Uh, this is week one of what I'm calling bus stop vlogs. Uh, basically, every morning uh, I ride the DART bus from uh, Red Oak all the way up to Dallas uh, to attend the Iron Yard. And my walk from the bus stop to the Iron Yard is about half a mile. And so uh, I thought, what better way to use that time than to uh, kind of just uh, log what we've been doing each week. And uh, so the, the reason uh, for this is uh, partly for me uh, to uh, kind of keep a track of uh, what what I've been learning, uh, what I've been doing, and so that way in a few weeks uh, I can go back and uh, kind of uh, track my progress. But uh, it's also in case anyone else is interested in what the Iron Yard is all about. And uh, if anyone is interested in ever going, uh, maybe this will kind of give you some insight uh, as to what it's like uh, to be a student at the Iron Yard. I will say that I did a whole lot of prep work before the class began. A lot. Um, this, I made the decision to change careers almost a year ago. And so uh, I did about 11 months of prep work. Uh, most of that was HTML, CSS, JavaScript, um, utilizing uh, some libraries like jQuery and Bootstrap. Um, didn't really get much into stuff like React um, or Angular or anything like that. I kind of tried it, but uh, didn't really have the, a lot of time to, to really get after it. So um, looking forward to being able to kind of be a little bit more immersed in it in this program. So uh, let me kind of just walk you through what we've been doing. Uh, day one, was uh, definitely uh, an orientation type of day. Um, we also uh, did a little bit of Git uh, and working with GitHub. If you're not familiar with Git, it's basically a way that uh, you can utilize version control in your code. And so um, if you ever want to go back to an older version or if you want to try a new idea, you can branch off of your code and it's basically like creating another copy without actually having to go into your directory and physically save as and make a new copy. So um, Git is pretty awesome. If you've never used it and you're a web developer or wanting to be a web developer, definitely learn Git and how to push the GitHub because it's amazing. Day two uh, was HTML. Um, hypertext markup language. That's basically just the, the raw content of what you see on websites. So um, if you ever saw a website load and thought it was the ugliest thing ever, just white background with black text, it's a good chance that was just HTML. So um, that was Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, was a lot of CSS um, and uh, just kind of covering the basics of CSS. And each day ends with a reading assignment. And so yesterday's reading assignment was uh, dealing with CSS uh, floats and flexbox. Uh, so I've been I've worked with floats a little bit um, in my prep work, and, but Flexbox, I hadn't really done much of it all. I had used it like once or twice, but it was kind of just, I had, someone said to use it for this thing I was trying to solve, and I used it and it worked. I didn't really know how it was working. So um, the yesterday, I learned a lot of Flexbox, and it's awesome. I will, that's gonna be my go-to now when it comes to uh, needing to, to move things around responsively on a web page. So I uh, definitely prefer that to floats uh, so far. So um, that's basically what we've been learning up until this point. 
Uh, today starts the fourth day in, and it's it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I will say, if you are considering uh, attending the Iron Yard or any other uh, coding school or coding boot camp, definitely do the prep work. Um, they do give you some, you know, they do give you some prep work that you can do, uh, but don't wait. Don't wait for that. Um, it's it will really, really prepare you. Um, and the, the way that I see it is, you know, these, these coding boot camps, they claim that they can take you from zero coding experience and coding knowledge to a junior web developer in just 12 weeks. That's a lot. Uh, that's, that's a lot to of progress to make in 12 weeks. And so my thought is if I came in there knowing nothing beforehand, I'd be lucky if I got out of there retaining 80% of what I was taught. To contrast that, I took the approach of, let me see if I can learn almost maybe 70 to 80%, let's just go and call 80%, of the content that I'm going to be taught. Then that frees me up to really focus on that other 20% that I don't know. And so that's kind of been my mentality this whole time uh, for almost a year now, is just trying to learn and learn and learn as much as possible so that I can get as much as possible out of the course. This course is only 12 weeks long. Why, why would I do anything short of my best to get as much as I can out of this class. Um, I want to be set up for success. Um, and, you know, this, this has to work out. Um, I've got a wife and a kid, and um, there's, just, there's no reason I should give it anything uh, less than all I've got <laughs> to make this work. So, um, so I'm doing it, Do, doing everything I can, learning as much as I can. Um, fortunately, because I did a whole lot of pre-work and I was practicing a whole lot before, I was able to, uh, this week and maybe next week, I'm able to do a little bit of supplemental learning. And so um, what I'm learning right now, in addition to everything I'm learning at the Iron Yard, is uh, iOS app development learning how to make apps for iPhones, um, which eventually could either be like iPhones, iPads, Apple Watch, Apple TV, Macs, you know, um, using Swift as the language. And uh, what's really cool is I'm starting to see that once you kind of learn one programming language, other programming languages um, have a lot of similarities. And so um, I've had a, I've spent a decent amount of time in JavaScript, as I said, and so in learning Swift, I've also been learning a little bit of Java as well. Um, I'm going to end my time at the Iron Yard learning Java as kind of my specialty language, if you will, uh, the final four weeks of the class. And so I'm prepping for that too. But in both Java and Swift, I've seen a lot of similarities between that and JavaScript. Not necessarily in syntax, or the way that the language runs, but the concepts are very similar. And so um, I've been seeing that and it's made learning uh, things like Swift and Java a lot easier. My, uh, I pick it up faster because I've already got a foundation in JavaScript. And so um, there are some sy syntactical differences between the languages. Um, you know, Swift pretty much doesn't use any semicolons, which is, which is weird if, if you've been doing a lot of JavaScript. Um, Java looks a lot like JavaScript, at least early on from what I can tell. I'm not very far in. I know that they're different, I know that they operate differently, but the syntax uh, at its core level seems very, very similar. So 
Um, so I don't know. Um, basically, when I get out of the iron yard, I want to be a web developer. I, you know, it's, it's possible that I could change my mind about Java and go the React route or the Ruby route. Those are kind of our three options at the end of the course, React, Ruby, or Java. Right now I'm leaning towards Java, which is more of a backend language. I like the, the power that uh, Java has and how much you can do with Java. And so, um, so that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. But who knows? We're just nearing the end of week one and we still have 11 more weeks to go. Uh, seven more weeks for me to decide what language I'll study at the very end. So it's very possible I could change. Up until, until about two weeks ago, I wanted to do React. So who knows? Uh, so anyway, I'm going to be doing one of these blogs each week towards the end of the week to, to kind of just wrap up uh, what we've been doing, what we've been learning, um, what lessons have been really difficult, um, what things have gone well. And typically, I'm going to do those every Friday. But tomorrow, I'm not riding the bus. I'm driving my car. Uh, but most Fridays, I'll be riding the bus. And so you will get a new weekly update each Friday, if you care to listen to it. If not, just scroll right on by. It won't hurt my feelings. Like I said, one of the reasons I'm doing this is so that I can track my own progress for myself uh, so that 12 weeks from now I can go back and look at this and be like that guy 12 weeks ago did not know what he was talking about when he was talking about web development so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the growth that I make over these 12 weeks so all right well I am here this is my stop I'm at the iron yard uh, I will see you next week also if you want to check out uh, my website or my blog. My website is chapeldesigns.com. I'll post a link in the description below. And my blog is codingpercussionist.wordpress.com. See you next week.